felt like we were connected to the community, you know. We couldn't go to the store, you know, without someone waving or wanting to talk to you or shake your hand. And it was great. I kind of, I, I vibed with that. I connected with that. It didn't bother me that people walked up on the street and strangers that I'd never met and they wanted to have a conversation with me. I just thought that was great. I just think they took us in. We became part of that community and they were very proud to be caught up in that whirlwind because it was a whirlwind. And I think that's what's, that was the best part was like, it was like a community effort. Everybody was involved. The bat, Gilbert Gister. I think maybe once we got to be around 20, 20 and old, 21, 22 and old, because um, I remember someone asking me, what, was it, what does it feel like to play on an undefeated team? And I thought to myself, hell, we're undefeated? And then it hit me, we're, we were like 20 and 0. And I said, we're really doing something special here. And I think we had got into like the top five in the ratings by then. So it felt like yeah, this may be a little different. I had two favorites. Um, I, I did love the toilet paper thing. It was great. We would walk on the floor and everybody, you know, they had to sweep the floor off every game and that was great. I just loved that. But I think what I loved the most of it, and this will probably shock some people, was the Sparkettes and the cheerleaders. I would just kind of watch them and I would watch their discipline and how they, all those moves they had to learn and all that. And I would sit there in the game sometimes and think, wow, how do they do all that stuff? Because they were like behind us and they were always in sync and all of that. And I just thought that was great. I just loved the pageantry of it. It was, it was like what you think college basketball should look like. And I was just so happy to be part of that. I just loved that every home game. Right now I'm contemplating retirement. <laughs> I'm 61 years old. Um, I have a daughter. Um, both of my parents are still alive. My mom's 91 and my dad's 91. So I'm very proud of that. Um, just living my life, trying to be the best person I can be. I'd just like to go back to the beginning and, and reiterate relationships. I think um, that was the most important thing from that time in my life. That was the thing that stands out most to me from my time in that life, from my life at that time. Um, I, I think basketball's missing that now in college, the one and done and all of that. Uh, I love the fact that I was on that team and I had developed relationships with my teammates.